Donald Trump Georgia indictment will be impacted by Monday's SCOTUS ruling. The massive organized crime indictment of Donald Trump and 13 other GOP co-defendants in Georgia will be impacted by Monday U.S. Supreme Court ruling on whether the former president is immune from prosecution for his alleged role in the Jan 6, 2021 U.S. Capitol riot. The impact special counsel Jack Smith's case against Trump in Washington, where the former president has pleaded not guilty to the four charges he is facing. But a ruling could also have consequences for two other cases involving Trump, also brought by Smith in South Florida, involving Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents, and a second brought by prosecutors in Fulton County, Georgia, related to Trump's alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election in the state. The immunity case, according to the Associated Press, was the last case argued before the nation's high court on April 25th, but the timing of the court's resolution of Trump's immunity may be as important as the eventual ruling. By holding on to the case until early July, the justices have reduced, if not eliminated, the chance that Trump will have to stand trial before the November election. No matter what the court decides, in other epic court cases involving the presidency, including the Watergate tapes case, the justices moved much faster. Fifty years ago, the court handed down its decision forcing President Richard Nixon to turn over recordings of Oval Office conversations just 16 days after hearing arguments. The court reached a decision in less than a month to rule unanimously for Trump that states cannot invoke the post-Civil War insurrection clause to kick him off the ballot over his refusal to accept Democratic President Joe Biden's victory four years ago. Delaying the start of trials has been a primary goal of Trump's lawyers in all four criminal cases against him. Only one trial has been held and it resulted in his conviction for falsifying business records to cover up a hush money payment made during the 2016 presidential election to a porn actor who says she had sex with him, which he denies. Trump is the first former president to be convicted of a felony. The Georgia Court of Appeals put a stay on all proceedings. In the Fulton County election interference case involving Trump and his GOP allies, a stay means that all hearings, arguments, rulings, and other matters are on hold until the Court of Appeals rules on matters it is currently hearing, including whether to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fani Willis from prosecuting the case. The court is also reviewing an appeal for charges dropped in the election interference case. In August 2023, Willis indicted Donald Trump and 17 of his GOP allies on charges. They engaged in an organized crime-like conspiracy to overturn Georgia's 2020 presidential election. Four of those 18 originally indicted have already reached plea deals with Willis's office. But in early January, a series of explosive allegations surfaced when Michael Roman, one of Trump's co-defendants, and Ashley Merchant, Roman's attorney, accused Willis and then special prosecutor Nathan Wade of having an improper relationship. Both Willis and Wade have since acknowledged a romantic relationship. The allegations that Willis had improperly benefited from her romance with Wade upended the case for weeks. Intimate details of Willis and Wade's personal lives were aired in court in mid-February. In March, Fulton County Superior Court, Judge Scott McAfee, who has drawn the case, rejected defense efforts to remove Willis and her office over her romantic relationship with Wade. But he did give the defendants permission to seek a review of his decision from the appeals court. In his ruling, McAfee wrote Willis must remove Wade from the racketeering indictment if she were to remain on the case. Wade resigned just hours after that ruling. On April 1st, Trump and several of his remaining co-defendants formally appealed McAfee's ruling, allowing Willis to remain on the case. That appeal came after McAfee gave the green light to allow such an appeal over his decision. The appeal was signed by all of the attorneys representing the remaining co-defendants, who have not already settled the case in Fulton County Superior Court. The Georgia Court of Appeals docket for case number said the appeal will be heard during the court's August 2024 term. For the court's website, all cases docketed to this term must be decided by March 14, 2025. The August term ends on Nov 18, 2024. The court's argument calendar for August, September and October does not yet list a date for Trump's appeal. Both Biden and Trump are the respective, presumptive Democratic and GOP nominees for president.
setting the stage for an historic rematch of their 2020 campaigns. They have been polling well within the margins of error for every poll thus far in the election season, making Georgia a virtual toss-up. In 2020, Biden won Georgia by less than 12,000 votes.